Back at the Goodwill. Found a couple things so far. Found this body blade. It's very long. Uh, $8.99. Today's blue is half off though, so only $4.50 on this. Probably can get like... I can get like 40 bucks for this. Back home now. Only about three items from the Goodwill. Only spent $18.33. Today's tags was 50% off blue, as you can see here. This was the regular priced items, which is a pretty good one. A pair of Muggsy jeans. These are actually a pretty good brand to look out for if you ever find them in the wild. This is the Fulton's style, size 35-32. Paid $11 for this. Like I said, Muggsy is a pretty good brand to look out for. These will probably go for about 40 bucks. Only other clothing item was actually this here. This is a Mountain Hardware shirt. I can't tell what size it is. That's the unfortunate part. I think it's a large, but this was priced at $4.99 and it was half off. So only paid $2.50 for this. I think I saw some Mountain Hardware t-shirts go for about $15 to $20. If it's a size large and it fits me, I might just keep it. Nice navy blue color. But for $2.50, can't go wrong with that. And the last thing I picked up was this right here I showed you guys in the store. It is a body blade. Great one to look out for if you guys don't mind shipping long stuff like this. I do have boxes for this since I have golf clubs. And these will fit right into it. Should fit a 4x4x48 four four box. And as you can see here, it's priced at $8.99. And it was half off, so only paid $4.50. Saw some comps. Some pretty good sell-through rate on these. But it's been going for roughly about $40 to $40 dollars as well usually with something like this i will ship it via ups ground usually that's your cheapest option for these definitely something to keep an eye out for body blades if you guys ever see these out in the wild pick them up if you can get them for cheap hey everybody just got off work today it is thursday and we're hitting up savers Fourteen twenty-nine. Alan Edmonds, Capto. Oh, found a couple other items. Adidas looks like wrestling shoes, and a pair of Hoka's. These are the Mach Five. Kind of in rough shape, but we'll see. Alright guys, a couple items I found here, $11.99, kind of a nice blue like windbreaker jacket, uh, as you can see here, and then also found this t-shirt, $7.79, uh, also Lululemon, men's, not sure the size on this one, looks like a large, and then this one's an extra large, but then the rest of the shoes, Pretty good shape for this jacket. Nice like windbreaker jacket. Again, everything is gonna be 25% off today. So not too bad, a couple little lemon finds. Manhattan, I thought this was a jelly cat. Alright guys, just left the Savers, we're gonna head over to a nearby Goodwill. Yeah, I don't think I picked up anything else after I showed you guys the uh, Loon Lemon shirts, so... But yeah, let's see if we find some more. Let's check out the women's shoes. Alright guys, just found a pair of Odd Clouds. Pretty decent shape, not too bad on the bottom. Um, looks like a women's ten and a half. Kind of big, a little dirty, but I think she cleaned up nicely. Only $8.99. No rips or tears on the uppers. Heels look pretty good. I think I'll grab them. I just found these women's sweatpants. Only $4.99. I think that's a size 6. Looks like a small size. Sweatpants. 
I go grab them. Nice little lemon. We're gonna do things a little differently today. I'm just gonna pull stuff out of the bag. So we're gonna start things off with the savers haul. Here is everything that I picked up there. I did end up putting the hokas back. I decided not to get those. They were a little bald. So paid $39.64 today, 25% off of everything. First one was this jacket. It's like a windbreaker. It is a Lululemon jacket. Priced at $11.99. And these were a size extra large. Came down to $8.00 and 99 cents after the 25 percent off next item is another lululemon this was a t-shirt there was no size tag on this it was cut off as you can see on here but 7.79 was the price on this it came down to five dollars and 84 cents backside here's the lululemon dot i can never find the size tag on t-shirts you guys know a better way to find it let me know i think t-shirts go for roughly about 15 to 20 dollars still pre-owned condition i did find these jeans in the women's section actually these are a pair of bke jeans these are the tyler tyler street 32 regular Priced at $9.49, came down to $7.12. And these are actually in pretty decent shape. Light wash, probably not as much demand, but um, they're in good shape. All the zippers work, buttons work just fine. Um, <clears throat> size is okay. A little stain here in the back pocket, but I think that should be able to come off in the wash. I'll just go for about $25 to $30. Next one are these wrestling shoes here. I love picking up wrestling shoes. They sell really quickly, actually, and really nicely. This one is more of a modern pair. If you guys saw my top sales of 2023, you saw that I picked up a vintage pair of Adidas and sold those for 100 something, 175 or something like that, I think. These are more of a modern pair, so they don't sell for as much but these were only priced at nine dollars and 29 cents after the discount came down to six dollars and 97 cents and they should go for about 20 to 25 dollars the last item from savers is actually these allen edmonds these are a really big size men's size 13 priced at 14 dollars and 29 cents after the discount came down to ten dollars and 70 two cents these here are the fifth avenue style i did not see any size 13s listed there was one sold for 65 dollars probably looking for about the same thing maybe 60 to 70 since this is the only size 13 maybe i'll price it a little higher try and get like 70 to 80 on it maybe but that is everything from the savers today like i said 39 dollars 64 cents we only picked up two items from the goodwill today uh spent a total of 14 dollars on everything five bucks on the pants and nine dollars on the shoes here so that is everything guys it's from today's haul at the goodwill and savers spent just under 54 dollars i think on everything they should probably make all of our money back just on the on clouds or maybe even the allen edmonds and then everything else will be profit hey everybody it is sunday and it is negative four degrees right now and I'm at Savers, because I'm bored. So I decided to go thrifting. Let's find some stuff today. Hey guys, saw this Panasonic, but they want $60. And Sony DVD VCR, it's not even a DVD recorder. And this one's $50. <laughs> what the heck? Well, let's see if we can find anything. Look at this, guys. Did I strike it rich? <laughs> Not a Stanley mug. Looks like it. Cheaper. But it's pink. <laughs> oh. Here's a Stanley mug. It's just a regular water bottle. Probably not worth it. Is at the boots now don't see a whole lot here there are these red wing boots but it's a small size not the best shape so passing on those but so far have not found a whole lot let's see what these are faux fur yeah i don't know what that is a pair of cats nothing too much a pair of nmds Adidas NMDs. Hmm. Let me look these up and see. They're pretty dirty though. 
Okay, the NMDs were not a pickup, but I did find these San Antonio shoes. Love picking these up. 1349. Kind of a small size though, size 8. But mm, still decent. A whole lot of those. I did find these A6. Uh, they want $9.29 for it. $9.29. A6 wrestling shoes, it looks like. Love picking up wrestling shoes. They usually sell pretty nicely. We saw like two comps on this. One sold for over $100, another one sold for like $40 to $50 or something like that. Um, so I think I'll grab those. Only nine bucks on that. Alright guys, I'm in the women's section and found these wrestling shoes though. I think they're men's. It's a small size, size eight. Um But they only want seven forty nine for these. I think these are going for about twenty-five to thirty, so I might grab those too. But so far nothing else as far as women's shoes goes. But I'm gonna keep looking around and see. Found a couple of additional items here. First one is this Under Armour. It's like a camo print with the real tree. $11.99. I go for like 30. I ended up buying 10 items actually. I didn't film some of the clothing items that I picked up, so I'll show you guys once I get home. The total actually came just over a hundred dollars which is probably the most I've actually spent at a Savers before. can't remember exactly what the last time I spent over $100 at a Savers. But I did have a 20% rewards coupon, so it did come down to $86 even for all of the items. I think we picked up some pretty good things. Uh, some of the stuff should sell pretty decently. Some of them might be just bread and butter items. But we're going to go hit up a Goodwill now and see if we can find some more things today. We are at... The Goodwill. Okay guys, found one item so far. I think I'm gonna grab these. A pair of Chelsea boots. And they're in decent shape. To Boot New York is the brand. They look decent, decent shape. And they are asking $8.99. I think I'll grab them. Uh, unfortunately I didn't find a whole lot of things, but I did pick up three items. I went to two Goodwills. One of the Goodwills I didn't find anything at all. The first one I went to, I did find these three items. Starting things off is this right here. This is a pair of headphones. And they're Sennheiser headphones. Sennheiser is a pretty decent brand to look out for. Uh, this was in this bag. I don't think it's new, but paid $8.99 plus tax on this. So it was like 970 something, I think, after tax. If it does work and everything, if it works properly, I saw some comms go for over a hundred dollars on this as well. Even parts only, I saw some of these go for like 30, maybe $30, $35, something like that. And then picked up two pairs of shoes. One of these is John Varvados. And these were also $8.99. Decent shape still. Nothing too crazy on the bottom. No major issues with it. Size 13 men, so it's a big size. As far as comps go, maybe I can get 40 bucks on these. John Varvados doesn't sell like super well, but it's a designer brand. And then the boots are the uh, to boot New York. I showed you guys at the store. These were priced at $8.99 as well. Everything was $8.99 actually. <laughs> These are Chelsea boots. This is the style. They call it a Chelsea boot. And it's in decent shape. I mean, there's definitely some wear here, but still some tread left on the bottom. Probably looking at about $45 to $50 on the boots. Spent a total of $28 at the Goodwill. And here is the biggest haul today from the yeah, savers spent a total of $86 on everything. That is with the 20% off that I use for my rewards. Everything is a clothing item, so I don't think I got taxed on anything at all. I'm just gonna go through all the items here. I'm gonna start things off at the bottom here. First item here is this is Minnesota Vikings jersey, actually. It's a Nike jersey, 4XL. This was priced at $11.99. On the back, it is actually a Miller Lite. <laughs> nameplate here. I didn't see any like recent comps here, but I did see one on Terra Peak that sold for like 50 bucks. Now let's say that was actually a couple years ago, so I might be holding on to those for a while. I don't know. The next one we'll just start over here, just kind of clearing things off at the top. Titleist hat. Looks to be brand new with the tag still. It is the Iowa Hawkeyes. Priced at $4.49. Maybe I can get like 15 to 20 on that. And then we have an Adidas track jacket here. This was priced at $8.49. But what drew my attention was actually this right here. The Adidas Ultra Star. Maybe I can get like 35 to 40 on this. 
Next one here, priced at $10.29, is actually this vintage Polo Sport Ralph Lauren like uh, windbreaker pants. It's got the Polo Sport embroidery right there on the front. It's just like a navy windbreaker. $10.29, maybe I can get $35 to $40 on these. And the last clothing item was actually these pants right here. I kind of showed you guys in the store as well. Under Armour, $11.99. These are camouflage pants, like real tree ones, I think it was. These are like hunting pants, size 32. Probably looking at least 35 to 40, I would say. <laughs> Moving along to the shoes here. These two here, these are actually FootJoy dress shoes. Here's the tag here. Picked up both of these. I think they're both size 13, size 12. But this one was priced at $18.99. This was priced at $10.99. Probably go for maybe about $45 to $50 as well. I've never actually bought a pair of FootJoy dress shoes. I usually buy their golf shoes. And sometimes the dress shoes actually can do okay. These are made in USA, so maybe that can add to the value on them. It is just these nice, like, tassel loafers. Um, bottom seem to be pretty good too. Take a shot of those, maybe we can get 40 to 50. Then right here, another pair of San Antonio shoes. These are actually a lot smaller size. Made 13.49 on this one. This was a size eight. Yeah, size eight. But these can still sell usually for about 35 to 40. Last two items that I picked up today are both wrestling shoes. They're both A6 as well. This one's actually a smaller size. This is a size 8. And these typically go for about 30 bucks. Price at $7.49 here. Now this one here actually is a pretty good one I guess. Saw some comps go for over 100 on these. And this was priced at $9.29 minus 20% off again. Probably looking at maybe 80 to 90 on this flash up some comps on this as well. That is all the shoes that we picked up today from the Savers and everything else from today's haul.